and you'll see that we're going to control this uh, jet ship here and try and avoid these mines scrolling across the screen and also um, try and avoid hitting the top of the screen and then also try and avoid hitting the bottom of the screen so um, that's a couple of things the jet has gravity applied to it so whenever we press the screen the jet's going to go upwards uh, if we're not pressing the screen then gravity is applied and the ship sort of falls downwards um, other thing to notice the background's got what's known as a um, a parallax scroll where you can see the foreground of the city is scrolling faster than the um, than the background there sort of giving the illusion that we're we're traveling past this scene okay let's get started by creating the background so um, all we've got to begin with is just a folder uh, I've just got a folder called side scroller um, sitting on the desktop and it's just got the graphics for the game in it which are all um, PNG format uh, I've got this folder left over from before, so I'm just going to delete that. And um, sorry, file main.lua file. So let's um, let's get started, and we're going to create a, a main.lua file. So I'm going to say file, save as, um, go to that side scroller folder, and I'm going to create a file called main.lua. Uh, main.lua is always going to be the um, the starting point of any Corona application and all the files are written in a programming language called Lua which is why it's a .lua file so we'll save that okay so all we want to do to begin with is get this um, this picture called BG short for background displaying on the um, on the screen so um, to do that we're going to create what's known as a variable by saying local giving the variable a name background a variable is just a, a storage container or somewhere to place uh, something, whether it's an image or some text or a number or uh, lots of other things. Okay, so local background, background's like the name of this variable we're creating, the storage container we're creating. And we're going to say display dot new image. And then we need to say which image. So in double quotes, I'm going to say bg dot png. Okay, save that. Now we'll go over to the simulator and I'm going to say file, open, go to that folder, so desktop, side scroller, main. And we see we've got just the um, just that bg.png image displaying on the screen. Okay, so let's um, bring up the city graphic next. So going back to our main.lua file. Uh, I'm just going to copy this first line, paste it underneath. Because uh, we're just creating another variable. This one's going to be called city1 and then display.new image. Um, so same thing, we're just going to display something, which is a, an image. We need to say which image, so just going over to the folder. See, it's called city1.png, so in here, I'm going to change this to city1.png. And um, just one thing to note, you can see here the um, the graphics name city1.png, so it's city1, and this variable name, or storage container name, is the same, whereas here, this one's called background, and this one's called BG. Um, anyway, in case you're wondering, it doesn't really matter. You can have the same variable name as you do as the image name, or you can have a different name. It doesn't matter. So um, once we load a, a graphic file in, we only refer to it in the program then onwards using the variable name anyway. So these are the names that we'll be using. Okay, so let's um, just save that and take a look in the simulator. Okay, so we've got that uh, city1.png displaying. We want it down the bottom of the screen here, though, not where it is at the moment. So we need to change its uh, where it's placed on the stage. And um, we're going to do that by adjusting its X and Y coordinates. So um, the X position is the horizontal position of the graphic. Um, at the moment it's just sitting at x equals zero which is um, just over here on the very left hand side and the um, the y position is its vertical placement so um, we need that's the one its x position is okay we need to adjust its um, its y position okay so um, back to our main.lua file what we can say is we're going to say city1 colon that's the double dots um, what we want to do here is set reference point. This sort of adjusts where the, um, the X and Y position uh, 
is measured measured from we want it to be measured from display dot we want it from the, the bottom left reference point okay and then say city one dot just notice this one's a, a dot there it's not a um it's not a colon okay city one dot x equals zero and city one dot y equals three twenty okay so here we go we've got it in the correct position now so what's actually happening is um, the top of this image uh, is here um, and it's actually got a transparent background which is why we can see just this part of it but not the um, we can still see the the sky sort of in the background there so um wait what we're doing what we, what we did by um, this these three lines here the reference point and setting the reference point and then adjusting the x value to zero and the y value of the city one variable to these numbers is we said here in this line but by setting bottom left reference point we said let's measure this city one's graphic its x and y position from its bottom left point here so and then by saying set that to 320 um, it's placed it down the bottom of the phone screen one thing to note here straight off is that um, using a uh, iPhone 3 here and the graphics in this have been set up for an iPhone 3 um, if you want to change like the phone basically like say to an iPhone 4 or 5 or, or an Android um, device then you will need to adjust the graphics sizes um, made the conscious decision not to focus on that in these um, set of videos. It's something you can find a lot of info on on the Corona website and it's just a bit beyond the scope of this. This is just to, to get something up and running. So just be aware that the graphics in this are set up uh, for an iPhone 3. Okay, so um, let's just get the, um, the second city display in as well. So I'm just going to copy that whole block because this is going to be very similar. So we're going to create another variable, this one called city2 loading in the, uh, the city2 graphic and we can leave the rest of it the same just be careful when you copy and paste you need to make sure we change all these names because again we've got three variables now so we've got the background variable the city1 variable the city2 variable and then uh, in these two we're playing around with the actual values of um, the variable like setting the reference point to the bottom left um, region of the image and then saying where on the uh, the phone screen it should be displayed by uh, adjusting the um, the x and y values or properties of um, these images okay so let's um, take a look in the simulator and um, in the moment don't seem to be um, seen it there let's make sure I've saved that and um, come across okay so there we go um, let's come up on the screen so we've got both of those there now and it's time to get them moving. Um, so in the next video, what we'll be doing is is looking at how to set up that uh, the parallax scroll.